What's good, YouTube? It's KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. Today, we got a good scrap at the welterweight division, 147, between Keith One Time Thurman and Mario El Azteca Barrios. You know, it's set to take place February 5th. You know, Keith Thurman, 29 and 1, 22 KOs, 33 years old, 5'7 and a half, 69 inch reach. And you got Barrios, 5'10. 71 inch reach, 26 years old. So we gotta, gotta keep a couple inches in height and reach. And Barrios coming off his first loss of his career to Javante Tank Davis in an 11 round TKO in a fight where, you know, he definitely had his moments. He was competitive. You know, it definitely wasn't one side, one sided by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Tank definitely got pushed in that fight. You know, you even heard you know, Floyd in between rounds telling Tank that on the, on the unofficial scorecards, they had him down. And I don't think Tank liked that. So he told Tank to, you know, show him that he's great. And that's exactly what Tank did. He went out there and got the knockout. You know, he caught Barrios with a hook and dropped him. I believe it was the 10th round. He ca caught him with a hook, dropped him, he dropped him with a body shot. You know, he dropped him again to the head, I mean, he, he, he pretty much, once 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 he was told that he had to, you know, he was down on the cards, you know, that was pretty much like the beginning of the end for Barrios and, you know, take like a, a true a true power puncher, he closed his show and he shows you that he carries his power through all 12 rounds, even though, you know, he got him out of there in 11, you know, it, was, it still was, a, you know, a hell of a performance for Tank. I think Barrio showed, a, you know, a, a great account of himself. You know, I mean, is he's definitely somebody you'll want to watch again. And uh, this time we got him against Keith One Time Thurman. And as you know, Thurman, Thurman is coming off his loss against Manny Pacquiao, against the legend, where he was dropped in the first round by a short hook by Pacquiao that sat him down. That was probably what the second time Thurman's been down in his career. But, you know, credit to him, salute to him. He got up, he fought his ass off. You know, I think the knockdown caused him some trouble, especially being that it was in the first round. And I think I think he he had trouble getting his legs back up under him. It took him a few rounds to get his legs back up, up under him. And then, you know, he, he started to land good shots of his own. He was going to Pacquiao body. You know, he definitely did his share of damage as well, but I believe Pacquiao was able to hurt him again late to the body, which had Thurman basically retreating and spitting out his mouthpiece trying to survive, you know? It was a, it was a hell of a fight. It was a close win for Pacquiao. You know, it was a close split decision win for Pacquiao. And I think, I think Thurman, even though he had a fight, you know, not too, too long before that with Josecito Lopez, I still think his his injuries and, and inactivity played a factor. Like, I just don't think he was 100% in that fight. I mean, and it kind of showed, you know, because, you know, he, he started slow in that fight. And when have we ever known Keith one time Thurman to start slow? He's not a slow starter. So I think seeing how slow he started in that fight, and getting knocked down on top of it was just like a double negative. You know, he, he was, he had a lot to come back, to fight back from. He, he had a hole, dug himself a little hole, but like a, like a, like a real champion, you know, he ain't go down easy. He damn sure made Pacquiao earn it. He always said if he got an O and he ain't afraid to let it go. If you could beat him, beat him. As he said in the post fight, Pacquiao beat him. So the right man won. I mean, the fight, like I said, was a split decision win for Pacquiao, so it wasn't no blowout by any stretch. You know, I just think the inactivity and the, the multitude of injuries that Thurman has dealt with in and out of the ring, you know, with the inactivity, flat out inactivity, I think just, I think that cost him the fight. You know, he, he fought, you know, just once in 2016, he had one fight only one fight in 2017 no fight in 2018 you know what i mean so he you know he's dealt with his share in activity for sure you know what i mean which i believe 
definitely led to some ring rust and him starting slow. You know what I mean? You, like I say, he's, he's not a slow starter. So, you know, to see him come out and pretty much the biggest fight of his career and start off slow and not only start off slow, get knocked down in the first round, you know, I think think that put him behind the eight ball. And he, you know, he fought hard and, you know, he, he did some damage to Pacquiao. You know, even Andre Bertel said he spoke to Pacquiao after the fight. And he said that Pacquiao was telling him how he needed to take some time off, you know, because Keith Thurman really did some damage to him. <laughs> so as I expected, he's a tough dude, Pacquiao is. Like, he, he got a hell of a poker face, but I, I, I suspected he, he took some damage in that fight because, like I said, Keith Thurman's a hell of a puncher. I think because he still has real power. I just think part of the reason we're not seeing the knockouts, you know, just straight up inactivity, injuries, and, you know, him sometimes being too much of a headhunter. I think he if he settles down and, and go to the body more, you know what I mean? I think he was doing that more earlier in his career, you know, and it's kind of like he went away from that and started falling in love with the nickname one time. And it's kind of like played a factor on how he chose to approach the fight, in my opinion, you know, always going for the knockout and headhunting. And I think... He's a decent, pretty good body puncher. And I think if he focused more on the body, we'll start to see these knockouts, man, you know? And, uh, you know, this fight between him and Barrios is gonna be interesting because, you know, they both, both fighters coming off their first loss of their career as a pro. They both had tough fights. Both took their share of damage, you know what I mean? They both can't afford to lose. Two fights in a row, you know what I mean? Two fights in a row can either derail one of their careers Especially for Thurman, being that he's the older guy at 33. You know, Bar Barrios is only 26. But even even at that age and at this level, he don't want to take back-to-back -back losses either. Especially not knockout losses at all. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, I think this fight is going to be a good fight. You know, it's going to be the first fight for Barrios at 147. I don't think that weight should play that much of a factor. I mean... I doubt it. I don't see it. But, you know, I still, with that being said, even though, you know, Thurman's the natural welterweight, I still give him the edge and the advantage. And, you know, I, I, I think, I don't think Thurman's done. You know, a lot of people might might disagree. I, I don't think he's done. I mean, you know, that, and that's the problem with boxing sometimes. You know, guy take one loss and there we go. We jump shit and now he's done. You know, and I just don't understand that. And that's the difference between fans and supporters. The supporters going to rock what you win, lose, or draw. The fans, you know, they could be iffy. Those are the ones that, you know, as soon as something don't go your way, you lose a fight, tough fight, lose a fight or two, they on to the next. I mean, I still support Keith Thurman heavily. I'm going to support Mario Barrios as well. That's that's. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Win, lose, or draw, I will support both fighters, and I will still watch both fighters again. But I, I get a slight edge to keep Thurman, man. I think I think he got something to prove, and and, and I think he gonna show this kid. He gonna try to prove this kid that his weight class is for a reason, and that he's not a true welterweight. I could see that being Keith Thurman's approach, and I hope Barrios is ready because I know if you know how I know, Keith Thurman loves to test you early, and he definitely gonna go to see if he could test his chin early. I expect to see Keith Thurman start a lot faster than he did in the fight against Pacquiao. But you know, you know, Barrios got a height and reach advantage, so he could box as well. He has some solid power, so, you know, Keith Thurman better bring his A game or he could find himself, you know, with his second consecutive loss as a pro. And I know that's something that he definitely don't want to do because he's still chasing these big fights as he said at welterweight since he lost his O, he's he's hungrier and you know he's ready to prove something he said if he want to be a champion he got to be beat a champion so he understands that at this point he can't he can't afford to take another loss he can't you know he got to cross his t's dot his eyes and he definitely got to get through this fight with mario barrios because if he don't it's going to be looking it's going to be looking bad for him and you gonna hear the people and the detractors saying, I told you so, keep one time Thurman was done and things like that. And like I said, I'm not one willing to write him off just yet. I think he got a 
got he got some more in the tank. I think he got some more things to prove at 147. So we're gonna see how this plays out for the most part. And like I said, I just think it's gonna be a good a good scrap, good welterweight scrap. It's a good entertaining fight. It's coming early in the year, so that's good to start the year off. Maybe we see Keith Thurman in the ring more than once this year. You know, I know that would be more interesting. When he's more active, boxing, boxing is more interesting, period. So that's my thoughts on that fight, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. As always, y'all get in that comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, y'all let me know if I gave Keith one time Thurman and El Azteca, Mario Barrios, they're just do. Because that's what I like to do it over here at Just Do Boxing. Till the next one, I'm out. Peace.